He was having a drink, but speaking of things that are amazing to see, watching this massive bull elephant walk. Oh, hello. Hello, little mudgkin. Sorry. I'm not obviously talking to the large elephant bull. Um, <laughs> that's bizarre. Sorry. That must have made absolutely no sense. It was just because an elephant calf popped out next to me. But this is a magnificent specimen. Look at him. He's gorgeous. But watching him walk up the damn wall was an interesting experience. This is so gorgeous. So utterly, utterly gorgeous. I'm glad we got elephants for Earth Day. It felt thoroughly appropriate. Or it feels thoroughly appropriate. Gorgeous. Uh, we're going to be taking a short bake very soon. However, as you can see, you just never know what's around the next corner on a live safari. And we have so much more to show you. So join us after the break if you'd like to see how these elephants get on in just a few moments. And I really mean that because I think this elephant bull is about to go and chase away this other elephant bull. And this cow is leading her little calf away to safety, away from these two behemoths that I think are about to have an altercation. Well, the young male is the one that you're looking at at the moment, or the younger male. He looks to me like he might be coming into must. One of them is. I can smell it. And I'm not quite sure how this situation is going to play out. Oh, submission. Oh, no wonder there's submission. Here comes it. There's the boy that's in must. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look to the left. To the left. That is magnificent. And he is in must. He is seriously in must. We could actually see quite a serious elephant fight here. Our beard, you said our, our elephant from earlier was dripping. That was just because he's been drinking. It's not because he's in must. And if he were he would not be giving way to this absolute giant that has come into the left. I can't reposition at the moment, unfortunately, but this is truly spectacular. Look at this guy. He's one of the biggest elephants I've seen here. He is beautiful. Absolutely massive tusks, dripping urine, and secreting heavily. And there you go, that sign of aggression trunk on tusks almost as though to emphasize just how big his tusks truly are and how massive he truly is and just not being overtly aggressive but just shoving his weight around a little bit showing the boys who's boss and there can be no doubt with this guy this is a gentleman over 40 years old I would say there we go, trunk on the tusk again, and again the elephant on the right showing submissive behavior, twisting the bottom of his trunk anxiously. I thought he was big when we first came in. I can't even begin to give you the scale of this massive, massive gentleman. I knew I smelt him. And then if we sort of set the scene a little bit. To the right is our initial elephant. To the left is the one in must. Stuck between them uh, is the elephant cow and her calf. The calf looking very confused and sniffing at the bigger bull. And then a slightly smaller bull that we wouldn't call small under any other circumstances twisting and turning his trunk anxiously on the far left. A tableau of elephant life right there. Look at this. Look at the difference. Bull, young bull on the left, female in the middle, calf on the right, in the middle middle, and massive elephant bull in full must. But he's not a threat to this little one, even though he is in a sort of state of heightened testosterone. He's far more interested in showing the other males who's boss. Look at this. So, and it's a little male calf as well. Mommy, when I get bigger, am I going to be like that? Will I ever be this massive? Oh, look at that. 
I hope you're getting some spectacular screenshots. That is too gorgeous for words. I don't know why, but that actually made me slightly teary-eyed, the sight of that little calf next to that massive bull. Little one, your mom's gone in the opposite direction, sweetheart. No, little baby. No, no, no. Yes, mommy's gone that way. Oh, shame. Come on, mom, go back and fetch your baby. Go back and fetch your baby. That's okay, little sweetheart. There you go. Mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. You silly goose. You followed the wrong elephant. There you go. You're going to run to mom now. There you go. Here she is. That's the elephant you want to follow, you silly thing. There we go, there's our original bull, who's decided that he hasn't actually had enough to drink and that he wants to stop and have another quick drink. Well, I think almost as though he's trying to pretend he wanted to be there all along and it wasn't because of the giant behind him that forced him into that position. I don't know where the rest of the herd is. I saw more than one female track on the road behind me, so I think that female and her calf were just stragglers. Melinda, you want to know how many elephants can be in an elephant herd? You're probably looking at an average of between 10 to 20 because it can be highly, highly variable. However, no, hold on, what's happening here? Sorry, just come out a little bit, Rowan. That female's coming back now. I'm curious as to why. Calf's a bit young for her to be coming into estrus. But she's leading the baby back. And I'm not sure why. Odd. I think she's just bringing it for a drink. That's what she's doing. Sorry, but what you do get with elephants and on a relatively regular basis in certain areas is you get them gathering together in lots of with lots of herds joining together. They're not territorial like lion prides. They will quite happily all gather together, often with sort of distant degrees of oh, and there's a hippo relatedness. And I'm just gonna. All I'm going to do is reposition ever so slightly so that we're not staring right into the sun, but I still want to sit here and just really enjoy this moment. And sometimes it's nice to take it in from a distance because it really gives us a sense of the whole picture, including that hippopotamus that is thoroughly disgruntled by the presence of elephants at his waterhole. And there we go. I think that female is going to bring her calf down to drink Oh, or not. I'm not sure. Uh, I wonder if she's not in estrus. It seems, she seems, that calf seems a bit young. It's a really very good question. While we watch these three bulls circling around the females. Shamama, you want to know if a bull elephant would recognize their own young? This is interesting, sorry. Can we hold off on that question for one second? Because the bull on the right is smaller, but the bull on the left is acting defensively. Perhaps he just didn't want to have the disadvantage of having the slightly lower ground. You can see his indecision. There's the big must ball at the back. He actually doesn't seem too bothered by the actions of the youngsters. He's not particularly aggressive. There you go, one on the left turning to face the one on the right. Now, all of this is posturing, really, because if, if if any of the males get to mate, it will be the male at the back. He is the biggest. Here we go, meeting of trunks. Are they? Are we going to have a scuffle, or are we going to settle this amicably? Really, they are insignificant in comparison to him, despite their massive size. But your mama was wondering, would elephant fathers recognize their own offspring? don't know. I really don't because they could be separate for so long and not ever see that female again once she's pregnant and of course the female's pregnant for 22 months. I don't know the answer to that question. My guess would be 
probably not. They probably wouldn't recognize their own youngsters. But I also strongly believe we don't know everything there is to know about elephants. So I could be wrong on that. This is so gorgeous. Yes, get get to the get to the fresh water underneath that yucky surface. Here we go. That seems like a good place to suck up some water. Another big drink. Why is that female so unsettled? What's going on, girl? Sorry, let's go back to the must ball and the female that's behind her. She's pacing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. That baby seems too young for her to be an estrus again. And he doesn't seem to be all that interested in her. Maybe she's just lost track of the rest of the herd. Maybe the ball's got in the way. There she goes now. She's going off to the left there. A little bit further to the left. She's sort of disappearing at the... Oh, she's talking. Deep, low rumbles. Here she is. Little one in tow. Let's see, she's backwards and forwards. Hmm. Not sure. She might just have mislaid her herd so to speak. And now she's coming back. Maybe she's just really thirsty and she wants to drink but she doesn't want to put herself in a vulnerable position. Look how her head's up. She's interested. I just don't think she wants to be in a vulnerable position drinking on a downhill slope with these three bulls around, particularly not with little monkey over there. Oh, sweet little one. Stepping forward to meet the must ball. Now, Michelle, you want to know when do elephants typically mate? They don't have a particular season. They're not seasonal breeders like wildebeest or like impala. They will breed throughout the year. Uh, they will, however, as you can imagine, be a peak in the number of calves born during the rainy season because there's just more food to feed both mum and eventually baby but especially mum here she goes back again around the back of him see he's not he's not that interested in her even though he's at the height height of must you can see his temporal glands are actually swollen and just look at the difference in size between him and that bull. And the bull in front of him is not that young either. Oh, he's missing the tip of his tail. How ridiculous. Looks like a little metronome. What an appropriate sighting for Earth Day, an old gentleman like this. And we do call them gentlemen. It's something that all of us as guides fall into a habit of doing, because that's the way that we think of them, the gentlemen of the bush. And most of the time they are. There's one or two grumpy chaps, just as there are grumpy older gentlemen. But for the most part, they've got the most extraordinary manners. And they're so comfortable in themselves that they don't get bothered by the normal things that might affect a younger elephant. Here you go, the two boys. <sighs> nice just to sit and take in the atmosphere for a little bit. Uh, 
time for a dust bath. Uh, Andrew, because it feels like it's been a while since I last saw an elephant, you want to know if elephants will stay on the reserve the entire winter. They absolutely will, Andrew. There might be a little bit of movement around the reserve because, of course, these elephants aren't fenced in. They've got 4 million hectares of unfenced area. And let's be completely honest, what's a fence to an elephant anyway? Um, so there might be a bit of seasonal movement. However, what we noticed last year during the drought was we actually got quite a few elephants moving through this particular spot. And that was because there's a lot of pumped water in this area. Whereas the western edge of quarant not quarantine, <laughs> that was such habit. The western edge of Kruger itself, which is on our eastern boundary, they've closed all of those water holes. Whereas there's been a lot of water holes left open in this area. So we did get a huge influx of elephants during winter, which is our dry season. But it's seasonal. And sometimes the herds disappear for weeks at a time and we only have bulls sometimes vice versa but it's not often no matter what time of the year it is that we're treated to a big tusker a big gentleman as spectacular as he is he is however wandering off into the truly beautiful autumn colors and it's i think i'm very curious to know why tristan is collecting more ticks <laughs> 